So before I get into today's video, I just wanted to give a special shout out to the person who helped me out with the new profile picture, Nico. I'll leave a link to her other works down below in the description. She is a fantastic artist, you guys should definitely check her out. And now, on to today's video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Moose Wayne one and welcome back to another video. On today's video, I'm just going to be talking about some news I had heard about a game produced by Square Enix called The World Ends With You. So, if you haven't heard about this game, it first released on the Nintendo DS in 2007, re-released on the iOS and Android in 2012 and 2014, and released again with the Final Mix version on the Nintendo Switch in 2018, all the while getting fairly decent reviews through each remake and each remaster. Without spoiling anything, it's a story about a boy named Neku Sakuraba who one day wakes up dead in Shibuya and then has to face a series of trials called The Reaper's Game. In this game, Neku and his friends, otherwise known as players, have to complete a set of seven daily missions. If he succeeds, he gets to survive. However, should he fail those trials, he will be erased from existence entirely. It was revealed by Square Enix about a week ago that this game would now be receiving an anime adaptation, which is huge because fans of the series have been waiting for a sequel for the classic JRPG for a while. And while nobody knows which studio is going to be producing the show, I'm excited for an adaptation because it could potentially thrust the game into becoming more of a mainstream franchise and garner support for a sequel. Though, at the same time, I won't exactly hold my breath, we'll just have to see what happens. The countdown is posted on the official teaser site and it will be announced at this year's Anime Expo on July 3rd, which is this Friday. Now, Anime Expo, for those of you who don't know, is one of the largest anime conventions in North America that happens every summer that brings anime fans together from around the world. They also have different exhibitors that come to promote new shows and things of that nature such as Toei Animation, Funimation, Crunchyrolls, and others. And this year, because of everything that's going on in the world, they decided to change Anime Expo to Anime Expo Lite, which is basically two days of live streams that have special guests and announcements from different companies, among other things. Now, it was announced yesterday in an article that'll be posted down in the description that one of the character designers from The World Ends With You, Tetsuya Nomura, who is also the series director of the Kingdom Hearts franchise, will be the creative producer on this project. Now this is pretty interesting to me because we know from the Kingdom Hearts 3 secret ending that Sora and Yazora fight on top of the Shibuya building. However, in reality, the real Shibuya building is a store called Shibuya 109 and has a giant 109 on top. However, in the Kingdom Hearts secret ending before Remind and right before the Yazora fight during Remind, the building has the numbers 104. And why I bring this up is because that's the same number that's seen on the Shibuya building in The World Ends With You. And Yazora, right before we fight him, takes us from the unknown realm in the night sky to the 104 Shibuya building. He then even said that he went through some trials and was told to save Sora, which could be alluding to the fact that he's a player in the Reapers game. At this point, since the two seem to be connected, you have to wonder if we'll receive hints about the next game, maybe see an appearance from one of the characters, or even gain new information during the anime's run. I also wouldn't be surprised if we see a cameo from either Yazora or Sora at some point either. And since the world ends with you characters made an appearance in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance that released in 2012, the connection is already established between the two universes. The last words Neku said to Sora before they parted ways was, see you in Shibuya. And when the secret ending showed the 104 Shibuya building, we all immediately thought that that was what Neku meant. But this opens up a different avenue that I think is worth exploring. But I'm a little hesitant about anime adaptations for video games because, yeah, this happened. But it'd be nice to see Kingdom Hearts get some love in this show, but even if they don't, I'm excited to see the world ends with you getting some love instead of fading into obscurity. So that's going to be all for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about the game getting a show adaptation down below in the comments. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to become a part of the channel, and share the video with a friend. And above all, have a fantastic day.